Hey everybody, it's Becky from Icing on Top Becky's Cakes and today we're gonna do the stained glass peacock sugar art. We're gonna do blown sugar for the peacock's body and then a poured on an edible simi cakes transfer sheet for those uh, feathers. It's gonna, it's, they obviously don't look like feathers but it's kind of for our stained glass artistic flair that we're doing for this and so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna first get out my Simi Cakes icing sheet. This is an edible icing sheet and it's uh, printed with edible ink, which is awesome. So all we do is we'll put some uh, vegetable oil on my pastry ring here so that the ice malt doesn't stick to it. And I'm gonna put that right on the icing sheet. And then I'm gonna get uh, my Simi Cakes pre-cooked isomalt because that makes this super easy because then all we have to do is put it in the microwave in my silicone dish here. I'm waiting till the bubbles are done because you want to bring it to a boil and you just do it at 30 second intervals, bring it to the boil and then uh, it, it's great. It's completely clear. Ex excellent ice malt, so easy to work with. You can cook your own from home if you want, which I often do, but sometimes you just want easy. So this is, is great and easy because you pop it in the microwave. I love Simi Cakes stuff though. It's phenomenal. <laughs> so I'm just pouring this around. I'm just going in circles so that it's all evenly distributed. And so, um, since we waited long enough, there's not really any bubbles except for just a couple tiny ones. And I can quickly get that out with my torch. So I'm just gonna get my torch and just kind of torch uh, just those couple little bubbles there and pop, there goes the bubbles and it's completely smooth. So we're gonna set that aside till it cools and we're gonna start working on our peacock. Again, I used the Simi Cakes Ice Malt and I also used her ocean blue coloring and I loved this for the peacock coloring cause it really looks like the color a peacock would have. Now I had one little lump there, but it's okay when you're pulling um, because uh, you can even out the temperature anyway when you're pulling. So I'm gonna, just uh, move my mat back and forth and then I uh, start pressing it onto each other until it gets nice and tacky and I can pull it. And when you pull it, it brings shine to the ice mold. It evens out the temperature and you want that before you start blowing this. So now that it's getting uh, nice and tacky that I will be able to start touching it with my hands and forming it into a ball, I wanna just pull that even out the temperature so it's all completely even and so I don't have any hot spots when I'm blowing. So I pull it about, I don't know, five times or so and then I roll it into a ball here. Then I'm gonna get out uh, my, my torch um, and then I also need, um, I need to get my uh, sugar pump here and then I'm just gonna heat the copper pipe that already has some ice malt you can see on the, the copper pipe that itself it had some ice malt that helps it stick to my ice malt ball better so that uh, it doesn't let the air out so I just make sure I put it about uh, you know a little ways in and then uh, kind of press it back and forth give it a pump and I start to form it and you don't want to pump it too fast otherwise it's going to be too thin and uh, I'm not going to hold its shape so you just want to go at this slow kind of form it as you go kind of looks uh, almost like a, a little bowling ball pin here <laughs> a little smaller on the top bigger on the bottom where we're gonna blow more and then we're gonna stretch out that neck as we go a little pump here and then smooth it back and forth make sure it stays even we want that uh, copper pipe to stay in this the middle as we go and and just a kind of little pump as we go here and kind of pull up on the head there, create a bit of a neck, and um, keep pumping as we do this. I'm going to use gravity here. That kind of helps keep it a little even sometimes. And I'm going to be cutting off the end of this, so I'm not too worried about the part being stretched out in the back. 
So you can see, you can really see the air now in it. We don't want it to get too thin because then it'll pop. <laughs> and it also is more breakable when it's this thin too. So you gotta be super careful as it hardens, it can easily snap. And I'm just gonna pull that neck up here while it's still hot enough that I can pull the neck up. And then it's kind of keeping its position so I know that's that's hard enough and you don't want to pull hard never pull hard <laughs> you're gonna shatter your little peacock and uh, so there is our peacock I'm gonna heat the end and just cut it off with the scissors and that actually takes a little while because I'm patiently cutting it off so I didn't bore you with all that <laughs> and now I'm gonna pull off this part because it's cooled and that pastry ring came right off and then I'm just gonna lift this from the back and gently peel that off and then you'll see just a few little uh, spots around that I just take off easily with my knife so it makes a complete circle so I'm just gonna that easily just trims off with a knife because it peels off so nicely this is gorgeous I absolutely love these transfer sheets and definitely gonna have to get more <laughs> uh, okay and so I have a base here the base is solid I made it opaque with green and white so that it would be opaque and I did the same thing with the pastry ring and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of some hot ice melt on there so I can put the peacock's body on it I'm gonna place the peacock there first and make sure I position it right where I want it. And then I'm gonna add a little more of that hot ice malt to the back, and that's where I'm gonna stand up the back of the peacock. So these are gonna represent the feathers, our kind of stained glass look for the feathers. And um, we're just gonna place that right there. And uh, we don't wanna to press too hard on anything because it's super fragile. Look at how see-through that is, I love it. I love it. This is even better when you have it against a glass window later, and that is gorgeous. And I'm just going to add some pieces um, for the beak and then for the top little fringe thing that Peacock's got going on. I'm going to add that and I'm going to paint them gold with some edible sterling uh, gold pearl dust from the Sugar Art Store and um, just mixed in a little bit of vodka with that powder and the vodka evaporates and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that and there is our stained glass peacock sugar art and this was so much fun thank you for doing it with me and if you want to see any more of my tutorials please check them out on my channel this was a fun thing and thank you Simi Cakes for making really great transfer sheets and isomalt and I just loved using it today.